Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Dead End here in City Skylines. Well, last episode, guys, we built our very own fishing town uh, on the edge of the river. Uh, we have a train line to it, we have all the fishing factories in right now, and it's actually quite profitable. It's one of the most profitable industries we have at the moment. Which is so surprising, considering that we only got it in last episode. Today I want to take a look at some of the unique factories and warehouses and all that kind of jazz in general. Because I think it's time that we bring more money to the region. More money provides more jobs, which then creates more demand for people to live in the middle of the desert. Now, if you guys have enjoyed the series and want to see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're already here, make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But we're back anyway, and this is the industry we got up and running. Now, when it comes to the industries, in terms of uh, making uh, monies and profit, I say it's one of the most profitable ones because the farming's losing money, the oil's losing money, the mining seems to be doing amazingly well, I don't know why, and then the fishing one makes money. It's I need to go back and look at these two and see what's going down at some point. But maybe things will change when we get some unique factories in. Now, I don't remember if we've actually got any unique factories within Dead End region at all. So unique factories... We don't have any of them. So when I place these in, they're going to then require to buy the goods off the industry. So maybe we might make some money. Oh, okay, the oil and the fish. Oh my goodness me, they both jumped up. But farming, not having it, mate, is it? Farming is definitely not having it right now. So suppose then the question is, what factory do we start with? Now... Seeing as the farming is a little bit low at the minute, I don't think I'll go down that route because there could be some, some major issues which might then kind of, you know, fall onto then having supply issues for this factory. So if I go through them then, we got the usual furniture factory, which we don't have a, a woodland industry, unfortunately. The bakery, which requires the animal industry. We have the industrial steel plant right now, which takes... Um, what does it take again? It takes metals into special goods. It pretty much makes steel. Which is perfect for this because we're making so much cash with this industry. It only makes sense. Now, thing is, right guys, do I place it within this? If so, then I might need to start thinking about, I don't know, better ways to bring the workers over here. Because we don't really have that option just yet, do we? So let's take a look then. The uh, beautiful industrial steel plant, which is a huge building. I kind of forgot how big this building was. So this kind of changes things slightly in terms of how I approach doing this. We are dramatically going up on any angle. I could not place it in there and place it somewhere else, but I don't really have any localized towns. And I feel like it's got to be around this area. It just makes sense. So we'll do what we've done with these little kind of uh, mines here. We've like kind of dug them into the ground slightly. So we're kind of going up there. I could dig it into that ground, but that's too steep to go with. I could push it further up over to here, but then does that feel like it's too far away? The most simplest decision, yet it's one of the most difficult things to kind of select. I could make it go that way, coming off this. That might not be a bad idea. Let me kind of see right now. So let's just kind of humor myself right now. We kind of, when placed down, it digs in here pretty deep. What we'll first do then is we'll kind of slightly raise it up. And we'll pick this road as well. So pick this road, raise this road up as well. And then slightly bring that. I should have done it all together. But by slightly bringing that up then, it makes the deficit a little bit less. And it's just a case of then just kind of uh, smoothing out some of the edges. So brush size. We'll smoothen it off all first. So we're smoothing it where we can. And we'll kind of then see where the majority of it kind of like lies. So push it back a bit more. So some of it, you just make it, give it like a, a quarry feel vibe. And if I just smoothen the tops of it off, so we push it back quite a bit. It's as if, like, you know, they dug out the quarry and this is, like, you know, the end of it. 
and bring it down a bit more. Right, we should be able to get away with that. So nice and big then, it's opposite the maintenance building. It's near the roundabout, there's not really too much traffic going on, but we'll keep an eye on it anyway. It should have the power, it should have the water, I'll bring this down just in case it doesn't. And we'll go maximum production on this, so the upkeep is a lot more, but it'll be producing a lot more. And for the sake of uh, this is able to, again, this whole mining industry is making a huge profit, just shows you that we are producing so much uh, metals right now and others. You can see glass as well we can turn it into some decent um product now thing is thing is boys we need to have some some factories nearby to kind of um sort us out on this front so where not as factories right warehouses so around we don't really have any so we need to have a factory for the one the the goods that we're producing and also for what we're storing now if i remember correctly we don't have anything around None of these are they? No, these are all mines. So what I'll do then, and again, we've got to think about it logically where we place this, because this is kind of all, you know, nicely all spaced out. There's not really any traffic issues. But I'm thinking if I create a little cut through, let's say I came oh, down there's too much, up there's too much as well. I, <laughs> it's good that I built in this little valley, but <laughs> it's kind of low-key hindering me slightly. Uh, okay, I'm going to move this maintenance building and I'll just place it over I'll just place it over there. It's something that we don't really need to worry about too much It's not a building that's um, gonna drive a lot of traffic to and from So I'll just quickly pause and get rid of that and then what we'll do is in terms of the warehouses here, we've got these small little ones that I can use. Now this might cause a lot of traffic issues. So if I kind of create like a miniature loop, brought this down by 15. So if I did one, two, and then how big's this one? Three. So bear with me on this a second, guys. If I kind of slightly lower this, there we go. Just smooth it a bit. Nice. So we'll bring the power a little bit closer. Bring that over a bit more. Just kind of make it all fit within the vibe. So we're just going to have the generic story anyway of the items that we are creating. Like the glass there. We'll have the metals here. And then here we'll have the actual unique factory products where we store it. So it might kind of initially get a lot of traffic around here, but it will then eventually settle down. At least then this building has the goods. Look at that. Material cost. Add on to the weekly upkeep compared to the uh, the output value. That's really high. So that's good then. We'll kind of let this do what it's got to do, but that should be pretty handy for us. So then moving on up then, we've got the Household Plastic Factory. Now, oil industry, it makes money at times. So it's just a case of we kind of like need to slightly... We, we haven't really done anything with this since like the, you know, the, the first time we, we built it. So this is something that doesn't really make much money right now, but can easily be turned around to make money. Now, right now, I'm going to bring this all the way across and down. We have got this style of um, system set up. We have this big highway passing through. I don't know what kind of traffic demands I was expecting, <laughs> but we can use it to our advantage. If I bring it up a bit more, so we're slightly going uphill over at this section. So bringing that down. Now we've got a couple of uh, factories just here, haven't we? So petroleum and plastic. So makes sense then to build something like you know, the household plastic factory we can utilize both of those goods nearby so i'm going to place them just here and then completely up the production rate now it's got the power it's got the water i'll save this space over here for the big refinery plant that you could drop down because that's a huge building right now that is a huge building should we actually get that in there uh, I believe it's this, the petroleum refinery. This is huge. Absolutely mahoosive. So, going across right now, 
That's a 20 mark there, straight down. It's flat enough land. So it should fit in just fine. Just like that. Big boy building. So of the production rate on this as well, has it got the water? Not really. Does it have the power? Yes, it does. So with these being as, you know, full as they are, they've got all the goods being stored locally to filter and utilize both of these buildings. So fill them up. Make me that cash, boys. Oh my goodness me, are we going to make it? Oh, it needs metals as well. That's interesting. So if I place down like a small-ish warehouse, so to speak... Or do I go for slightly large? Um, let me run like the road further down. I've got these massive grids all kind of laid out, haven't I? These mahusive grids. But if I bring... Yeah, we do a 15 and straight down to create like a little bit of a loop. And within here, I'll place down that just kind of slightly out the way. It's enough to kind of kind of be within the region, but not kind of mess up any of my um, flows or whatnot. And then this can store the metals. So obviously the metals are going to come in all the way from the industry over there. I mean, I might even eventually set up a little turn off here and have... So rather than all of this industry driving all the way over there or goods coming in, driving all the way back, have something a bit more localized. It depends on how the traffic upholds. But yeah, needs metals. So we have something being stored locally, which means that's going to be producing and selling even more to the higher end value of the goods. Ooh. See, traffic's not as bad over there as we once thought. So this is providing so much industry right now. Which, um, as, I mean, I don't know how much is going to drop our industrial demand, but it's definitely going to require a lot more people working. So, back over here then. <clears throat> Let's go back. So, toy factories, they do with the woodland industry. Printing press, again, wood industry, slightly. Uh, glass and crops, uh, again, that is to do with the farming. And a little bit of the mining. Now, electronics factory is plastics, glass, and metals, which all revolves around these two industries again. Now, I feel like something like this should not be placed around here. It should be placed within, like, a town in, like, their very own industrial area. Now, where could benefit from something like this? I mean, we've got this industry over here. This seems ideal. Uh, we've got trains popping in right now, which um, they do. It is kind of like a little bit of a dead end. <clears throat> so they kind of do have to like come in one by one. Will, it, will I then be overfilling or over flooding this whole train line? The argument you could make is yes, I probably will be. I mean, I could do it like a little area over here in Oxbrook, but then they have to, I mean, it's not really good. Oh, I got the sandstone industry over here. What am I talking about? Like you could totally implement it over here. We already has good commute lines for, you know, pedestrians to work over here right now. So if I... Oh, okay. I was thinking it's a sideways style building, but it's not. So if I did implement it over here, does mean I'm going to have to drop a couple of factories... Uh, warehouses down, sorry. So if I bring... Let's say I brought this out here. I just want to play around with the uh, the length of it. I could just totally drop it there. That's completely fine, right? So workers already have the ability to get down here. So we need free warehouses to bring the goods over. So again, it's all about making... I mean, it's all good and well having the goods. It's, one, it's one or the other. You have the workers close or the raw materials close. Now, you could have them both close, but I want to stay true to the area and have industry within industrial sections. So again, it's about having then more about you know more little pockets of warehousing and whatnot. So I know we're not going to go any further with that train line on this side. So if I create now a, or if I did that, how big is this? Okay, that fits in wonderful. So if I do that there, space of two, space of two. So. Mm, 
No, I need a bat and eight, don't I? It's kind of give us the same kind of um, standardized vibes. So push that across. Should have the power. Yeah. So what do we need again? Sorry, uh, plastics, glass, and metals. So plastics, glass, and metals. And again, it's something that the 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 base industries are going to pump out so much stuff right now. But at least it's got something more localized. We do need to build, and the same for the other industry. I completely forgot about it. If I drop the big boy here. Now, this is going to be solely for the unique factory products. I didn't do it in the oil industry, which I've got to go back right now and do it. So, push this back a bit. There we go, not as harsh. So that'll be interesting and see how it works. Um, should have enough work, well, workers able to get over here because the train journey is just like, you know, literally a stone's throw. Export's just there, also has the airport too, so that's really good for them. And it obviously, again, it's connected to the train line. So we'll probably, see, we'll probably start now seeing more trains than ever trying to get to places, but again, we'll keep an eye on it. Not bad. So, might need to up the production of what we got on the go right now. You might even drop down the amount of revenue we make. But yeah, I needed to get that factory to kind of get the goods out. Well, the factory to store the kind of goods locally anyway. So, I'm going to go for this style factory and place it just there. Because I might whack a train station here, to be honest with you. But unique factory products can be stored locally. Sorted, mate. Beautiful. So it's going to be interesting to see how the products are now distributed. Still waiting for metals over here. Where's the metals warehouse? It's just there. Uh, hasn't got any stored just yet, but it sh should only be a matter of time anyway. Should only be a matter of time. But you can see the, the demand they're pushing on this right now. It's why I might want something a little bit more local. But we'll see how things go first. We'll see how things go. So, in terms of factories then, we've done the uh, electronics factory. The clothing factory, which requires the farming industry, which again, I don't want to mess around with too much just yet. We have the soft paper factory, which is a little bit of everything. Uh, woodland and farming. Car factory requires a little bit of the animal side of things. Uh, the food factory, pretty much all the same. Uh, a bit of everything in there. Uh, a bit of everything in there. Pretty much saying there. So I need, I need wood to kind of get a couple of these all set up. So that kind of limits me to that kind of extent. Now, trains. Trains, trains, trains. If I was to create a little area over here just to kind of save these guys, the only reason I got this here is to technically serve this area. There's no other way about it. Now, by implementing one closer, would that make this whole area, like, pointless? You know what I mean? Kind of would, wouldn't it? It kind of would. I mean, it roundabout does what it needs to do. But again, I'll see as time goes on what happens. Still making for metals anyway. Um, how are we doing over here then? So we've got no 1% oh, of plastics, 0%, 0%. So that will take its time. Nothing stored just yet. So it's just a case of now just playing the waiting game, right? So while we are playing the waiting game, let's take a look at our little farm industry. Where am I? There it is. So Rio Rancho right now, although it's doing okay and making money, the problem is the profit it's making versus the upkeep. I mean, you would say, yeah, it's making profit. So wouldn't that just show here that farming making profit? No, because for some reason the expenses are, expenses are so high. We have lots of products being stored, to be honest with you. So is it a case of they're only able to export it via train to boat? Would they need another exit route? Is that the issue? Do I have too much infrastructure going on for this small area? I need to expand it further up? That could be the thing, but... 
to be honest with you, looking at the map animal products and flower we've got nearby, I think we could build one of these little kind of uh, buildings. So like the bakery needs crops as well. Now we store crops in here in the silos, which we, again we've got loads of, so yeah, I can't base it all off profitability. I gotta think of this as well. Now, before I drop this in, where do we have public transport stops? There's one just there. Our main chunk of industry is down here. So would it be worthwhile to kind of add a stop there, maybe? Or is it, reckon that's pushing it a bit too... No, because they can walk it. They can walk it. Again, i got to think about them walking. So, okay, that industry then. Let me go back to it. Now, I could drop that building just there, but it's in quite a large dip. I could place it within all of this, which makes more sense. I could bring it up here. Hmm. I feel like I want to place it here. Do you know what? I'm going to place it there. So with this, we're going to sort out some of uh, the land high. I'm going to bring that slightly up so we can play around with the uh, land elevation change. So that's as much as we get from this. Keep it like that. I want the path to come down as well. Makes the walkability a lot better. There we go. So bus stops, they can literally pretty much jump off. Also, I think the bus stops here kind of um, slow some of the vehicle traffic down. So I'm thinking maybe I move the bus stop. Actually, before I move the bus stop. Should I widen the road? Hmm. Nah, I am taking it too far. But I think I'll just move the... Moving the bus stop's the easiest way, like the cheapest way to do it as well. So if I move this bus stop from there to over here... It's already past the junction. The junction in question. So these... There's an old man there walking with a walking stick. Make his way down. Uh, we need power. So we'll just kind of do that. And it should have everything nearby that it needs to utilize. The only thing it doesn't have in terms of a factory, a warehouse, sorry, is the ability to store the goods locally for the unique products. So if I select this, unique products, and then raise this up, just smooth enough slightly there. We now have a smaller industry here, which is, again, it's providing lots of jobs. Now, as time goes on, the unique factories and warehouses here will continually start to make lots and lots of profit. Now, the fishing industry is doing really, really well. The oil industry, I wonder if that is now not going into debt because we're technically able to sell the surplus oil that we've got stored because now we have a demand with industries. This is now finally got the metals. Damn, it makes a lot of profit. You know what I mean with that? So maybe that's kind of working out in our favor slightly. Um, the ore industry slightly dipped down a bit. Now, is that having the opposite? I mean, they're all dipping down anyway, but is that having the opposite effect where it's no longer consistently selling directly and making a profit because it's now shipping to these warehouses that we've just built these industries that we've just built so it's a case of i got wait wait for everything to kind of slightly plateau before i can even think about these industries turning a huge profit all over again man it's a it's a tough one isn't it but um i think we might need to create more factories that make more metals in general 
So if I was to bring, you know, workers over here, what would be the, the method to do it? Would it be like a, a simple bus back and forth? I think it might be having the bus stop. Hmm, that's a question. Where would where would we have the bus stop? I mean, I think it would be better to do it on this side than put more pressure on the big road because there is a path that kind of does come out to the back of uh, this big hub here. So if I have a stop there, create a bus stop there and just have a simple back and forth. Now what I could do is I can have a bus come in and then stop, for example, there. Stop up here. And then make its way back. It's not a purpose for this route to make money. There is no purpose for it to make money. That is not what we're wanting it to do. The sole entirety purpose of that is to have a connection so workers can make their way over. Now, what we would need to do over here then at this point then is think about, you know, getting them connected. So as the bus stop is literally going to be over here, I'm going to do a little walkway going through. There we go. And then the stop up there, everything's all in the vicinity anyway, but it just makes it a little bit more walkable for this whole area. Then cross just there. Yeah, should be all good. So again, like I said, the, the the reason behind it is not nothing other than is to get them from point A to point B. So that bus line seven is probably gonna drop in like a, a ton of vehicles on right now, isn't it? Yeah. Twenty six. It doesn't need to. At most we'll probably go six. Because there's not gonna be that much of a demand. There's already two people waiting over here right now. So give that time then. We'll just kind of give the ability for them to it's, 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 at the end of the day, it's the first public transport over to the mining industry, so we kind of do need it. Same thing's going to be required for the uh, oil industry too. But that's a lot long-winded. That's a lot more long-winded. <laughs> we won't go down that route just yet. So, unique products right now. It's not really full, but then again, we should be consistently selling it anyway. Uh, metals, none nearby, so they've gone and filled the factory up first before the storage. This industry is only producing 20 tons, but there's a couple of places that do require these metals. So maybe we add a little bit more of the metal production. So metal production comes from these rotary kilns, which are huge. No wonder we're only producing a small amount. They're tiny. They really are tiny, aren't they? Hmm. Now, if I just move this one over here, I know the the majority of wind is within that vicinity, but to maybe just squeeze one in there, that's too slopey, if that's the correct term. All right. Yeah, they're dense there, so. There we go. So completely up and out of the way, but it's just an additional one to kind of make us a little bit more extra. And I might have to push it back a bit to utilize more of this kind of semi-flat land. <sighs> it feels really awkward, that one being stuck up there, but it's kind of needed to increase the... Uh, the production capacity and whatnot. That's kind of what we need to do. So 83,000 went out in weekly income for that brief period right there. So it shows you when we export in on full capacity. Damn, are we making that sweet cash money moolah? So it will fluctuate then, but as long as we're consistently making money. Again, we need more metals over here. So that just goes to show you we've got to up that production. Uh, over here, do we have the metals? We have 7% in storage right now. we got metals being used right now. I have gone all out with the production of these unique factories, you know, ramping up what they need. But I'd rather go full pelt than, than not enough. 
So that's not going to start producing then. So I don't know whether it equates already. I don't think it does. So give it more time. So while we're losing the majority of the industries right now, we're in that transitional period where they're sending it to unique factories. So the money should be coming from the unique factories instead. As opposed to these, all the profit should be funneled into this. So give it time. Give it time. Um, right. There's that bus stop there. A couple of people getting on and off. This is also producing. Ramp up the production, boys. Very, very good. We're making money. Money for days. Money for days, boys. Money for absolute days. So, can you check the city statistics? Um... I mean, the city budget, that's going to be mental anyway, just because of, you know, what's going on. So the city budget, the, the city treasury, that fluctuates all depending on when I'm spending money and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, it, it grows, then it dropped. It grows... Then it came down as I started to build more and more stuff. It grows. Now it's like a weird little zigzag in the last year or two. Again, literally based on me buying a lot of stuff, building Fishtown, buying all these industries and whatnot. So we would like to see it increase is what we want to do. Industrial zoning, that is just the normal stuff. Uh, do you have anything to do with the industrial areas? Prisoners. All oh, prisoners are increasing. Tourists. Wow, they skyrocketed, came down and went back up again. Let's go. Available jobs on the increase. Employment percent. It's kind of plat... Oh, well, 96% of all people are employed right now. 97. Ooh, that's good. That's real good right now. The influx is, you know, slightly increasing as well. Um, this is stuff that I never really look at too much. Education levels, obviously increasing. Population changes. Continually on the rise. City values increasing. Uh, tourist tax income going up and up. Happiness. Uh, it's kind of plateaued a little bit, hasn't it? Uh, offices, nice. Uh, cyclists. Again, that, that all comes down to Every time I'm building paths, I'm doing the cyclist roads ones as well. So that becomes a big helping hand. So as time goes on, guys, we shall see how these improvements take hold. We now added an extra 10 tons of potential production on the metals. But I still feel like it's not going to be enough. We've got to take it to the next level. A couple of unique factors in right now, which you kind of see us through. Which in return, 90, at, at, at best, 97% employment, which makes sense because only 3% are unemployed. So we could get more people in. That is crazy employment figures right there. you got to be proud of that considering how spread out all, this, all the people are living around here. you got to be proud of that, right? Amazing. I think what we need to do next... Um, is get a, the ferry route to do a triangle route because yeah it's called port exporto and the passenger route can get over to here but um, Los uh, Paises right here is the one that has the train connection so that's something that we'll probably look at next episode as well but guys we got a ton of things we still need to get done I hope you guys are enjoying the series if you are smash that like button down below and until next time I'll see you all soon so good <laughs>